I'm Emily with another brief grief activity from the team. Today, we'll be using the power of our imaginations to help us with our grief. It can be really hard and painful when we start to understand that the person who died is really gone and can't come back. How one day a person's with us and then not. And understanding that once a body stops working and dies, it cannot start working again and cannot become alive again. It can be equally painful when we understand that we can't go visit them. Finding a way to hold on to some of the closeness you had with your person when they were alive and feeling connected to them is important work in grief. Some of you may already have a place or a way to feel close to your person. Others may have yet to find that or are looking for different ways to continue their connection. Today's activity will give you one way you can feel connected to your person and get your imagination working for you. Today, we'll be making daydream doors. These doors don't lead to a place in our world that we can see or touch. Instead, these doors are a symbol to help us. A symbol is one object or thing that stands in place for something else. For us, we're trying to make these doors a symbol for feeling connected to our person. Here's what you'll need. You'll need two cups of flour, a third of a cup of salt, one cup of warm water, paint brushes and paint, and then anything else you want for decoration, maybe gems or beads. Mix together your two cups flour, three quarter cup of salt and cup of water. Mix until the dough starts coming together in a ball and then knead until smooth. Roll out the dough until about a quarter inch thick. You don't want it to be thicker than your finger. With an adult's help, use a butter knife to cut out the door shape you would like. Before baking is the time you can add textures to your door. You could press indents or lines in it with a pencil or carve a letter in it or a small indent for a doorknob. An adult will need to bake these doors at 300 degrees, checking on them every 10 minutes or so until they're barely golden and look dry throughout. It usually takes about 45 minutes. Once your daydream door has cooled, you can personalize it. These daydream doors are a place where you can go to feel connected with your person, so decorate it in any way that feels right for you. Maybe that's adding colors or things that make you feel happy and comforted. Or you could add decorations that remind you of your person. Maybe that's their favorite colors. Or if they like to wear jewelry, maybe that's putting gems and beads on it. When placed in a safe and private place, we can visit our door and imagine a place on the other side that we can be with our person. The door you make can be a space similar to places you visit like a grave or where ashes have been placed, where you can talk to your person, remember, and maybe feel them in your heart a little stronger. You can leave notes or special tokens at the door as a way to share your experience and show your care for the person who died. The creation of a daydream door helps us spend time in our minds in a daydream away from all the truths of what life is like without our person here with us. We would love to see the daydream door that you created or any of the other brief grief activities. You can share pictures with us at art at griefcenter.org. Thanks for being with us today. We know that being with grief feelings can be hard, especially if you're feeling alone. So remember to reach out to a caring adult if you need support or kids help phone at any time. Join us next week for another brief grief activity. Thanks for watching.